So um, I was going to ask, because it's coming up, uh, wow, less than a month out of, are you political at all? You don't have to answer this stuff. You know, I, 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 yes and no, you know what I mean? I'm not political where I like to tell people what to think and what they should do. I have my own views on things, but I don't necessarily like to stand up on a pedestal and fight for everybody's rights and you know and I, I'm just not that guy anybody who thinks that Obama was gonna come and fix that mess in like three or four years is nuts I mean that by itself you got to give him a little bit more time I think I think he's doing an all right job I ain't got no beef with Obama I mean but I'll tell you this much he, he is a politician like everybody else and I'll t he's a damn good one because he he can really make you like him you know? well, that's and what that, politics that's, is getting that, what you want but but to, to, to bullshit people and make them to like you and he is king at it I, he might be a little better than Clinton actually. Yeah, well there was yeah. there was all the there was all this duality between the conventions and you're like wow this is a well, mindset and the Democrat convention felt like people were partying and amped and the Republican felt like kind of stiff and you can really tell the difference between Democrats and Republicans just off how they party I can understand the people that are like patriots and have all that you know flag waving i have pr I'm, I'm armenian so i have pride in being armenian i have people in my family who've died for that cause they've had people in their families and their generation past that have died in military and, and wars and for for their flag so they have they have a pride for it and i can understand that pride so i don't really diss those people plus i love nascar so i can't really complete completely like diss those people they're kind of my peeps you know? that's a pride <laughs> i would not expect you to like nascar yeah but you know on the other side you know if there is a disease that can be cured by stem cell research or if you know uh, i don't believe that a rape victim should have the baby you know like I, there there's just there's always two sides of an argument. You you can't really hate people for thinking what they think. It's just the ideology it's what they're raised in, with. And the ideology can get in the way of what really needs to get done sometimes. And I think that's what the, that's the wall we keep running into. I'll be honest with you. Politically, I have no issue with people, but I have I my beef sometimes is with religion. At the end of the day, and and that offends people, I guess, more than telling people what to do. But I just think you know a lot of people use politicians use religion and and they get their troops riled up with religion and it's not just here with you know christianity it's th those dudes like bin laden these dudes are all politicians themselves man you know and so they they use uh the simple-minded well they take you very, know they and, take and young people who don't have world experience poor, right and 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 they promise them things and that's how they rile up their troops right. using religion you know and we we don't see that as the same as our politicians but they play the same games with their people over there as the politicians play with the people over here to get them riled up to go to war to the you know and you're so fighting for want. freedom right you or know? religious freedom or, or somebody's or, oppressing me and i gotta yeah you know yeah. so you know i i just it, i just think it's religion is something it could be a beautiful thing for the individual, but when it becomes organized, that that's when religion starts taking a kind of ugly turn to it becomes, me. It becomes a power trip. Yeah.